Hello all you coffee enthusiasts all you coffee lovers all you coffee snobs out there I am limitless whole heartedly welcome you to another coffee tasting episode but first thing first guys i just want to say this to all new viewers out there that if you are interested into specialty coffee if you want to go deeper into specialty coffee want to really enjoy coffee i would highly urge you guys to hit that subscribe button because every week i bring some own specialty coffee content and very soon i'll be bringing some more experimentation with some coffee dishes and coffee related stuff so it is really free completely free you just hit that subscribe button and you will get some premium coffee content and now talking about today's coffee we're going to taste something really special from Maverick and Farmer. Now this time at as you can remember that last time we tasted their old smoky which was also good in a way but this time we're going to taste their special orange are you curious and i am curious about this coffee because they claim that it has a real subtle prominent flavors of citric orange along with some mixed flavor of some kind of wine but i want to see for myself what kind of flavor i'm going to get out of this coffee and in that journey i would also take you in a complete process and tell you how you can enjoy your coffee in a nice way especially some specialty coffee how you can get the best experience out of that coffee and now before we start talking about that i just want to make a small announcement if you can see i have this really nice you know leathering talking about leather products our inventory has recently been updated with some new leather goods i am recently working on some real good leather products so if you are interested into handcrafted leather goods want to buy some real good handcrafted leather wallets maybe some leather sleeves for your macbook just go on our website the link is down in the description below and make a purchase that would help us and you know you will get some premium quality leather goods with that i would just like to say let's begin with this video and start this journey with a nice cup of pour over let's make it guys Okay, so finally here's a nice cup of pour over straight out of Maverick and Farmer Orange. Are you curious? And by the way, the answer to that question is yes, I am curious because firstly, it is something different, something fruity, and at the same time, it's been a very long time since I have tasted some specialty coffee. The last one was Lex, and it has been a while. And by the way, before starting the tasting and aroma, I would specially remind you guys if you haven't subscribed. make sure to hit that red subscribe button for more such coffee tasting videos and some more coffee related content which will be coming very soon because it's completely free guys come on just hit that subscribe button and now let's continue with the coffee tasting firstly aroma and in a nice proper snobbish way hello how are you quite well and thank you as you can see that this procedure itself is so nice it's so soothing it's so meditative that you know if you do it in a proper manner you just enjoy the whole aroma and especially i felt something just give me a moment to just get it again yes the basic aroma that i'm getting out of it is somewhat giving me a nostalgia of you know making early breakfast of some cheese sandwiches grilling them and you know just having them i don't know why that memory came into my mind from this aroma but there must be something to it but at the same time there is some kind of earthy aroma as well and if i have to describe that aroma to you guys what i would say as is that take an example of you know 
in the childhood when you were walking through the gardens and this is my story i used to walk through gardens and there were some mosambi trees and when i used to go nearby those mosambi trees and by the way don't go very close to the mosambi trees because there are hornets they might sting you but when i used to go nearby and you know just have a little aroma of those trees i used to get this kind of aroma probably a little bit similar is the aroma and the flavor of orange as well i don't know because i haven't seen orange trees from a nearby perspective and i haven't you know just taste smelled the aroma so basically that's what i'm getting in this coffee right now anyway coming back let's talk about the taste that i'm going to get out of it the flavor notes that i'm going to get out of it on my flavor palette so let's just cool a bit you know cool it a bit just treat it in a nice way and just take a sip okay i think there's one thing into it you need to take a big gulp because the very first sip that i took it is not that prominent although i would say definitely there is a flavor note of orange in it surely for sure i am getting that small subtle nuance of orange even if when you are you know removing that peel that you know a little bit of you know water sparkling from that peel gets on your tongue sometime if it has happened to you that kind of flavor note i'm getting on my tongue and it is a little bit some sort of that yeah and i would say the bigger the gulp you take out of this coffee probably i haven't added much beans to it it's just 12 grams of beans and i think that was enough for me but perhaps this is a mug which required 16 gram of beans if you really really want some nice prominent orange flavor out of it it is really good it is really citric apart from that i would love to explore more flavors let's see what more i can get out of it something that i personally would get out of this coffee because what i believe is that you should go beyond and discover more flavors that you can get out of a coffee let's see what else i can get out of this coffee let's take another sip see there's one thing for sure i would say this one thing that there is subtle flavor of earthiness and i would say earthiness as if remember that moment when you used to when you used to play football in a big playground filled with lot of dust or you can say a lot of you know soil just blowing away with wind and that soil used to just cover your face and the taste of sweat and that earth you used to get on your tongue a little bit on your tongue cheek that kind of you know flavor you would get out of it and you know all those people who say that they are not getting those profound flavors it's all about having those experiences in your life see it's not that i got that early flavor just because i know what early flavor tastes like it is because i actually played football out there played some soccer on the field and i remember those experiences very profoundly and all the experiences that you had in your life you can found somewhat some similar flavor notes in form of nostalgia in that coffee that's actually what i really like about specialty coffees they give you so much more simply than you know just some coffee with some caffeine that's what i actually want to talk about when i'm talking about coffee it is much more than just getting a caffeine hit because i'm not get, getting a caffeine hit i enjoy my coffee for hours and then i'm like wow this is a really good experience you know a wine snob i heard a wine snob once saying that if you really want to you know smell the flavors what you should do is that you should take whatever you're tasting 
maybe it is a wine or it is a coffee whatever it is that you want to deeply enjoy and delve into what you need to do is by doing this what actually happens is that air passes from your mouth to your nose and if it is making sense for you guys what actually happens is those flavors you are getting in your mouth on your palate actually goes upwards towards your nose and you're getting much prominent sense of those tastes and then you are enjoying those flavors in a much better way so that is also one thing that you can do to improve your tasting ability and apart from these two flavors now i'm getting this third flavor which is actually the outcome of somewhat of this coffee resting on my palate for a while and this is and and i know it might just sound like something weird but i would say it is a little bit similar to a nice soothing sherbet you know acidic a little bit kind of a lemonade sherbet or you can say a right word is a lemon squash if you are tasting it and you can compare it to this very similar one by the way lemon squash is a citrus drink but it is different from orange if what i'm making is making sense to you and you know a little bit of a premium kind of a drink that kind of flavor i'm getting out of it now and you know even after a certain while it gets a little bit sweeter it gets a little bit you know acidic in your nice way the acidity is really good in this coffee that is the nice part of this coffee if you really want to enjoy some acidic notes of some really really good maybe a slighter towards the note of cooked fruits you can get out of this coffee because it is good it is mellow it is nice you can enjoy big gulps of this coffee as in the next video i would tell you definitely what is my experience with this coffee and by the way this reminds me that in last video i tasted slayers i would say for sure it is a good coffee but it has a very heavy caffeine crash if you don't want to suffer from a heavy caffeine crash and don't want to rely on a coffee don't prefer slayers but still in certain emergency cases if you want some coffee that gives you a great power for the whole day i would say definitely go for slayx and coming back to this coffee all the flavor notes that i got out of this coffee were some citric orange flavor notes along with a little bit earthiness and some lemon squash that is probably what i got of the out of this coffee if i get more i would you know just immediately inform you guys on my instagram handle ar.limitless go check it out guys follow me there i update on every new coffee that i purchase every new thing and in the end i would say if you enjoyed this video make sure to hit the like button and if you want to purchase this coffee the link is down in the description below you can purchase it from there and make sure to hit the subscribe button for more such coffee tasting videos which are coming in future time and some more experimentation with mocha pot and comparison with the coffee made up of mocha pot french press and a lot of different things guys some really heavy countdowns and much more things. so stay tuned for that as well i'll see you in the next video till then enjoy Have fun, peace.